All right, you're going out to lunch today, you finish your delicious takeout, and you're ready to trash the styrofoam container and the aluminum can. Wait a minute, can you recycle all of it? What can you and what can't you? And what are all those rules again? All right, it's the Eco Hey! Not Oscar Good the Grouch, morning. Tiger Powerbox joining us. <laughs> wow. All you right. can recycle everything. Why not, huh? E even you. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm really excited about recycling and really excited about reducing our waste. We're getting our landfills filled up, but there's a lot of things that we can do to decrease what goes in the landfill and then what we can reuse. So let's go over some of the basics first as far as what can be recycled. What do you please, think? Please, please do, right. because I sometimes can't remember, get confused, and I don't want to toss something out that we can recycle. Right. Well, one of the wonderful things waste management does is they have a sorting line that kind of sorts it all for us. So any metal, put in any plastic, any glass, any paper or cardboard products, throw it in there. Because you know what? They're going to do their job of sorting through it and getting it to the proper location to properly get recycled. We want to make it as easy for them as we can though. Yeah, yeah. So you definitely want to like, you know, put it into the proper bin so that way it gets labeled and things like that. And then also you want to look at, you know, you know, people ask, can I put it in the trash bag and then put that trash bag in the recycling? You know what? They do a wonderful job over there. You can put it in a trash bag. If you leave it loosely, don't close it, knot it up. But even so, they'll kind of tear it open and sort through all of it for you. So they make it really easy for all of us to be awesome and green. And that's the really neat thing about it. So it's definitely something that you just want to do is get as much as you can into the recycling. Wonderful. All right. So we got the glass and that's, that's much, pretty much a no brainer. We all kind of know about that, that you can recycle these. But the styrofoam containers, I learned something so interesting from you about this. Yeah, the cool thing about the styrofoam containers is that they can sort through it and then, you know, a lot of styrofoam can get reused or it can get broken down and then recycled somehow. But the nice thing about it also is they keep it from going back into the landfill. They sort through it and they prevent it from causing more problems later on with our groundwater and stuff like that. So that's the awesome thing is that we as homeowners and business owners always don't know what can be recycled. Mm -hmm. So we got to leave it to the professionals. Did you just say can? <laughs> <laughs> cans, definitely. Aluminum cans, all kinds of soup cans, any kind of metal. That's the, that's the wonderful thing about the, the recycling project is that you can recycle all metals. I get nervous sometimes that after I've had tuna fish or cat food or for my cat, that I have to rinse it out, make sure it's all clean, and you're saying you don't have to. No. I mean, if you looked at the sorting yard that we went through, it's a great place, but it's not exactly the cleanest area. It doesn't so whether you so rinse that bottle or that rinse that can of cat food, they're not going to know. They just know that whatever it's made out of can get recycled and reused and is good for the environment if they do it that way. They go through 50,000 tons of recyclable material a year that gets saved from getting into our landfills. So that's paper, cardboard, um, cans, aluminum cans, sheetrock, metal from construction oh. sites, wood from construction sites, plastic bottles, pla glass bottles, all kinds of different stuff gets recycled through this. 50,000 tons. That's like 8,000 of those trash trucks, believe it or not. And what I like about it, as you can see on this amazing truck here, it kind of breaks it down how um, a lot a lot of the paper that we're able to recycle and you know it breaks it down into statistics of you know the millions that we're saving by by doing this right and there's a great resource that waste management put together it's greenopolis it's a website that they put together and they have a lot of information as far as what can be recycled how it's recycled and also how you can do your part and they also have a great rewards program on there that if you go on and you kind of show them what you're recycling they actually reward you with coupons and certificates and all kinds of other stuff and they put together some great events as well that kind of show people how to recycle. So it's really neat because this is a process that we want to teach our kids so they get involved with it early on and then from there on as they grow up it's not a big deal to put things in the recycling bin. It's not a big deal to put cardboard in the recycling. They can just do it. It's just part of what they do. So let's say that you accidentally toss one of these in one of these or one of these in one of these. It's not going to matter. It doesn't matter. They sort through it. They can separate it. They have this really cool machine that actually separate things with puffs of air. So a lot of it's done by hand, but also they have some awesome mechanical ways that kind of separate it out for you as well. Let's talk about once these items are recycled, what can they be used for? Oh, options are endless. Metals obviously can be melted down and remade into cans. They can be remade into other parts, plastic bottles. They, you know, everything's being made out of a plastic bottle nowadays. They recycle them into clothing even. I mean, I'm sure the shirt that I'm wearing is probably <laughs> somehow got a plastic bottle in it, right? The glass, the glass is an option that 
can be recycled into many different forms, whether it's breaking it down back into its glass form, melting it down, and then reusing it that way, or just simply using the glass for different objects and things like that. A lot of construction materials. A lot of companies are trying to become LEED certified, and a lot of the products that they put in their business has to be recycled. All that wood is recycled construction wood that comes from pallets and broken down buildings and things like that. They recycle that wood and put it back into the building somehow. That's really awesome. Let me ask you, if somebody's watching right now and their company doesn't have a recycling program, they don't have bins, how easy is it to have waste management help them out? Call them up. They have a wonderful website. You can get a waste audit. It's funny because I was over there talking to Carissa and she was walking me through everything. She's like, we come out to businesses and audit their waste, how they can save money. And I'm like, wait a minute, you make money on them. How are you trying to make them save money? But they really are excited about the whole program and they really are excited about people saving money on reducing the amount of waste that goes into the landfills and then not only that, reusing what we have already used already. So it's a really exciting project and they're really excited about saving money for people because to recycle is less expensive for it to go into the landfill. Great. Well, thank you so much, Tiger Palafox, with our eco revolution. You're a bit excited about <laughs> gonna, this yourself. I'm going to go take a nap now, okay? okay? All right. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs> and, and a shower, please. Yeah.